Alright, hello fun and welcome back to my time at Sandrock, where today we are right we left off in the last episode as we wait on, uh, yeah, going to check out this new fireside meeting, which the last episode we recorded was several days ago for me now, so I've entirely forgotten what this meeting's even about. I assume the Geeglers? I don't know, I genuinely don't remember, it's been two days for me. <laughs> oh boy, but before we go over there, we do need to go still turn in this commission. I was intending to do that off camera, but did not get the chance to. And then, yeah, we'll probably try and grab another commission. Though, when exactly does this start again? Five. And it's just about bored now. You know what I want to do before we do head out? Let me just make a handful of copper gears, because I remember one of the other commissions we have available for us today being the, um, the bronze. What were they again? I for <laughs> I don't, I don't play for two days and I'm forgetting everything of freaking course. But, uh, the bronze blades or whatever it was that required these, so let's just make a couple of these to, uh, just prepare for the future. And even if we can't get that commission, it'll be good to have some of these lying around for uh, just in case. Ooh, only eight and a half minutes, or nearly nine minutes of fuel left. So let's pop that in and a craft. Ugh, I should probably make some more copper, actually, too. Yeah, we can handle that later. Let's head on up to turn in our commission and get the wonderful points for that, which will be great. And then go to this fireside meeting. Yeah, I'm entirely forgetting what the meeting was about. Again, I'm assuming the Geeglers, since they're still causing trouble in the area. It definitely wouldn't be about the food, considering the food situation has now been sorted. Not only through the entirely pointless dance that had no need to happen, because, well, I fixed the farm before the food drive occurred. But, <laughs> yeah, but the farm is fixed too. So, yeah, I think the only thing it can be about is the Geeglers. Especially considering we haven't really heard anything from, uh, or about the bandit dude in a bit. First, hello, Amira. Let's have a chat. My brother is quite the charmer. You do well to remember that. Have you heard his sunrising compliment yet? Ah, uh, who's your brother? She has a brother? <laughs> this, is, this is how little I talk to all the people here in Sandrock. I've entirely forgotten. Did we ever find out she had a brother, actually? I have no idea. <laughs> Okay, we need to go we need to go into the social uh, menu here in a moment. Here's your commission, by the way. Have these weird bloodstone cores. I don't know what you need them for, but have them. I get 50 workshop reputation. That is all I care about. Thank you. I hope you didn't have uh, to go too far out of your way for these. Please, or uh, please, your pay. Wait, what? That doesn't make sense to me. Please, your pay. Huh. All right, well, we're out. <laughs> Okay, yeah, let's go into the social thing real quick. She has a brother? I have a feeling once I see it in there, I'm immediately going to go, Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Which actually... Well, no, I kind of had a slight thought about who it might be, but I've... My God. <laughs> Will it even say in here? <laughs> oh, wait, yeah, 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 there's the charts. Ah, uh ha, ha. I had was him. That's what I just had the thought about. I was like, was it, was it Arvio? Did we know that they are family? I don't remember ever hearing about that. Huh. Still, I. <laughs> okay, so related to Arvio, that's cool. Which, hey, how's this chart looking for me right now? So she's just friends with uh, Elsie and me. Let me get past a heart, damn it. <laughs> Why am I stuck at a heart? It won't go further. <sighs> oh, well, let's go to the meet. Well, we're actually still a little bit early for the meeting, so down we go. Yeah, Matilda's not up there. Everyone's gathering for it, but there's no Matilda yet, so we probably can't start it, force start it. Let's see, though. Yeah, no, I only see the interact with Arvio. Let's uh, head back to the guild real quick, see if maybe we can grab another good commission. Granted, just timing-wise, I don't think any of them will really work out for us that exist there at the moment. So the only one I'm remembering is the, the the bronze blade thingies. What exactly was it again? My god. Seriously, two days and I'm forgetting this much? Oh, wow, those aren't even in here, in here anymore. It's just copper gears now. And wooden boards. 
you know, we do have these rolling. <laughs> Might as well take it. There we go. I still have no idea how in the hell we're going to get the iron we need for things like steel. Huh. Oh, well, we'll have to figure that out at some point. Oh, I forgot to put those in a box. Of course I did. Of course I did. How many other things did I forget in the last two days that I meant to do? What did I even come in here for? Ah, yes, you. Track that. We'll go grab those in a little bit. I'm actually curious if I did have any gears that maybe I had built some extras just in case before and I don't remember. I mean, he's probably going to be at the... Uh, at the meeting, so we'll we'll check in with him then. Check in with Rocky. I forgot his name. <laughs> How's the leaderboard looking? Oh yeah, I still hmm. Freaking Yan. How? How does he have those points? That still bothers me. Yan, you useless person, you. Alright, well, we're getting closer to the thing. Because yeah, those new gears aren't going to be done yet. We literally just put them in the uh, grinder a little while ago, so they're not going to be done yet. Maybe one has been made, but eh, it's not going to be any more than that. Well, you know what we should do? Well, no, I still got a little bit of stamina left, and we're probably just going to do that commission and then go to bed, so I don't really need to get more stamina for today. I guess just wait for the meeting. <laughs> Uh, Ernest? Hold on a moment. The hell is Ernest? Oh, were you one of the people? Oh, you're the, you're the paper guy. You're the guy who came off the train. I do remember you now. We met you very, very recently from the train. Oh, uh, I forgot you existed. <laughs> I guess you are stuck here in town now until the trains get going again. Just me, huh? You haven't made any any other friends, huh? Eh, shame, man. Shame. Who the hell are the remaining two? <laughs> All right, Ernest. You know what, Ernest? What the hell? Let's talk real quick. Hi, buddy. Hello. Let's have a little chat. Adventure stories are trending on papers and magazines in Atara and Walnut Groove. Oh, cool. But those stories all lack impact and are full of speculations and exaggeration. Got it. I mean, most adventure stories are. Also, Walnut Groove. Love that name. <laughs> Alright, later, Ernest. Oh, Matilda's here now. Can we force start this thing? Just walk around until something happens here. Hi, Matilda. Oh, okay, okay, yep, it's reminding me about the fireside chat. Oh, the reminder was at five. Do we have to wait till six till it occurs? <laughs> Is that, is that it? Is that it? You know, I never tried interacting with this, but apparently there's not a thing. Well, really wish we could force start this thing here. Guess we gotta wait till six. Oh boy, all right, I'm gonna go check. I'm gonna go check in at my shop. See if three gears have been made. Cause I don't see Rocky there at the fireside meeting, which I figured we would. So I guess he's still probably back at his shop. Huh. Alright, well, let's do a little hop. There we go, right over the tracks. <laughs> We've made two. Dang it, that's not enough for the quest. Hold on. No, none there. I did make some extra screws. That's good to know. Nope, I hit the same box. I hit the same box. Nope, none there. Yep, nope, no extra gears. Alright, kind of figured. Well, let's get some more copper going. Oh, and more bronze. Yeah, let's, uh, well, let's do copper first, in fact. Let's just do ten here. Yeah, 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 there we go. And then these two will do five bronze in each. That'll be good, yeah, five bronze there. And five bronze there. Lovely. And you both have enough fuel, yeah? Yeah, you're good. You're good too, magnificent. Do I have anything else to recycle while we wait? One thing of copper scrap, sure, why not? Have at it. <laughs> oh, we do have some things to collect over here. All right, looks like now we can head back to the square for the, for the fireside meeting. <laughs> I've wasted a few minutes, magnificent. 
pop all that in there. Good, good, good. I'll pop the microchip too. Uh, these. Huh. Yeah, I'll leave the rest for now. All right, to the meeting. Should be six by the time we get there. Excellent. And then the gears should be finished. By the time we get back from that, we can turn that into Rocky. And all will be well in the world. We can go to sleep and start another freaking day. <laughs> all right. There's everyone. Let's do this. There we go. Perfect. Them gigglers are out of control. It was about the gigglers. Start our bridge. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. trying to destroy our way of life and drain our water hole. It only stands to reason that their end goal is world domination. I don't know if it's that much. The civilization as we know it. Yeah, I sincerely doubt it's that grandiose, Cooper. They probably just want to get rid of this town because we're they want our territory or something. Everything you've just said is wrong, Cooper. I agree. The Gigglers are just trying to survive. They likely fear us more than we fear them. And possibly. Definitely more probable than Cooper's idea. If and that's the case. Why come they went and attacked your farm? Well, they're attacking. Settle down, Fair everyone. makes people attack. I think most of us are here now. Before we jump to conclusions, let's hear all the facts. Mm, what more facts do we have, Burgess? Allow me, Burgess. Okay. Oh, uh, sure. I was pretty much done anyway. All right. People of Sandrock. The light has taken upon itself to test us with yet another challenge. Mm -hmm. Another menace to disturb the peace in this town. First, Logan and his gang, and now this. Stupid light always causing problems and sending crap our way. <laughs> in the past, those gigglers have hit us where it hurts. But we sand rockers, through love and determination, we got back up again. More stubbornness. We tightened our belts. Every brother and sister here aided and received aid in kind. And then we danced away our sorrows. Oh, are we going to have another dance where I can get those clothes again? Oh, please say that happens. We turned crisis into laughter. But I'm afraid, folks, this time we cannot turn the other cheek. Oh. That bridge is our lifeline to the outside world. This aggression will not stand. Matilda's calling people to war! <laughs> Meanwhile, the Alliance Council in Atara, according to our representative for Gorsik, are sitting around in their big building, twiddling their thumbs, sipping fancy tea, while Sandrock dries up into a piddling hole in the ground. I mean, yeah, let's be honest though, most countries are gonna drop a place that's dying anyways because if it has if it has no strategic or resource value yeah they're gonna let it die <laughs> so it's either we fight or viva the revolution now we could just sit around and wait for them to get their act together and send hell again we're a dying town they probably won't or we could solve it ourselves that's gonna that's gonna have to be what we do yes the way I see it, the course of action is clear. We send the civil corps into Gecko Station to clear bad, the Bad, bad idea. Out. Then, once the coast is clear, we send in our builders to reinforce that rickety bridge. We'll have our water supply back in no time. Yeah, yeah. See, the civil corps are incompetent, though. <laughs> like, truly incompetent, Matilda. I mean, I'm assuming story-wise it's gonna work, but... <laughs> Everything we've seen of the Civil Corps <laughs> proves that they are incompetent. Another reason this town is dying, my ma my dear. I All right. I think it's gonna be us or them. And from where I'm standing, it ain't gonna be us. Who's with me? Yep, yeah, Matilda Khan for war. I hereby authorize Sheriff Justice to come up with a plan. And then we will act. We will protect our sand rock. I need to make my gun! <laughs> Join the fight! I assume we're gonna have to fight anyways. Holy crap, it got dark. It's all up to you now. Oh no, we're screwed then, Matilda. We're screwed. Hey, Justice, how's it going? Hello. Chat. 
Have I got a plan? Have I got a plan? Uh, of course I got a plan. It's the best dang plan this side of Yfada. I just gotta hammer out a few details. Say you don't have any other ideas, do you? We're screwed. We're screwed. <laughs> These two, I swear to God, they are the worst. I mean, come on, they can't stop a bandit or the gigglers. I mean, they're just... The Civil Corps are truly, truly incompetent. I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to, uh... Drop by Rockies, because it's so late now. He might be home and locked away, but we'll see, we'll see. Let's, uh, get rid of this commission real quick. So, yeah, there we go, we got five of them. Oh god, he's all the way back up there! Ugh, yeah, so he's definitely home. Let's hope we can actually get in there, because I know... Well, we should be able to get in his house, but... There's usually, like, rooms within a home that, uh, we can't get into until we're good friends with them. So hopefully he's not in one of those. With my luck, he is. <laughs> oh my god, but yeah, Sandrock is screwed if we're leaving in the hands of Justice and Unsure. They are. They are not good at their jobs. Alright, we're in. Please don't be in, in a back room. Oh boy, let's find out. Rocky! Rocky! Oh, you're sta No! <laughs> wake up! <laughs> oh my god, we can't actually wake him up. Uh, that's hilarious. Sorry, Rocky. So first off, chat, sorry about that. What do you think about the geek? What do you think the Gigglers are doing with all those pieces and parts? They're pulling off the bridge. They're not trying to give me and my boys a run for our money, are they? They might be. Or they're just destroying things to, you know, screw us. Commission, have the things. Thanks, Builder. You know, I can't remember being so unupset at a Builder before. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Sorry for waking you up. Gotcha. Later, Rocky. You can go to bed now. <laughs> hey, we got the points. Magnificent. You know, let's swing by the bridge. I haven't actually seen what they've been doing to it. Last we saw, there were just gigglers on the bridge. I'm curious if it's actually looking a little bit rough at, the, at this point. Okay, it might be hard to see at this time of night, but... We'll find out. We'll find out. And then... We go to bed. Aha! <laughs> Alright! Yeah, yeah, this town's screwed, leaving it in the hands of justice and unsure. We definitely need to get that smith station so we can, uh... Build our gun. <laughs> I mean, we got a sword and shield now, too. But... Yeah, no, they're still just standing on it. There's doesn't look like anything's been ripped apart or anything. Well, disappointing. Disappointing. All right, well, let's get home and go to bed and then start a new day. Where? Hmm. I don't know if we'll work on the planting kit yet. I'm still just <laughs> I'm so focused on commissions and trying to beat uh beat uh Yan before the end of the month, which I don't think is going to happen. I I'm just kind of ignoring the planting stuff. But plus, we really don't have a lot of room right now in our area, so... <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, did I forget to hit craft? Oh my god, you dang fool. Or did I? Wait, what? I, you know what, just, just, just make the things. I did, didn't I? <laughs> dang it, dang it, dang it. Alright, put the rest of our stuff in the... Here, real quick. Sort a boop. Oh, wait, yeah, there's no slot for a gear anywhere. Metal coil. I'm gonna spring me absorbent packs used for heavy mechanical items. Alright, cool. These I gotta put inside. Alright. Yep, indoors, drop off some stuff, then bed. Oh, I could use sleep right now. <laughs> I say that as a man recording a video at 10 in the morning. <laughs> All right, there we go. Oh wait, no, I wasn't putting wrong thing. I wasn't putting you into there. Just these. All right, and then you. Ah, but I don't have enough room in here. Well, we'll drop this off. We have three art museum piece ones. <laughs> huh. All right, I'll keep I'll keep the equatorial mountain here for now. I really need to just make a separate storage box just for these things because I've got clothes I need to put in here too. Oh well, bedtime. There we go. A lovely night's sleep. 
There we go, another beautiful morning. Excavating the sky mission updated. Wait, what? Why, why did it get updated? You find pieces of the equatorial mount, which may be buried. I mean, these seem to be the same things before. Why did it get updated? I'm so confused. Oh well, outside we go. Yeah, why did that get updated? What the hell? <laughs> I'm very confused right now. Why did it tell me that? It doesn't look like anything changed. We still gotta find two equatorial mount parts. Huh. Huh, I don't know. Oh, we got mail! Also, what the? Hold on a moment. Oh, decorations for the thing coming up. The new festival. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, I saw something glowing. I was like, what the hell is that? All right, what do we got? From the... Ooh, two from the Civil Corps. Hello. Hey, me, Minister Matilda, the acting mayor, has tasked the Civil Corps with clearing out the Gigglers from the station across the canyon at last night's fireside. Yes, I know I was there. Me and the crew are formulating a plan, and we're going to need some builder magic to make it happen. Drop by our office soon. Got it. Time waits for no one. Justice. <laughs> Got it. All right, yeah, let's track that mission. Oh, hey, cool, the other thing. All right, they finished my other commission. Sweet. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, we got a lot of good stuff there, too. So, let us sort. All right, raw animal skin that we don't have in there. This and this needs to go inside. Into my food container. All right. Still annoyed that we couldn't build the cooking station in our freaking home. <laughs> That is gonna bother me forever. All right, move you there. There we go. Beautiful. Nice. All right, so I kind of want to go talk to the Civil Corps, but I also kind of want to wait on that because I want to get the, I want to have a gun first before because they're gonna ask us to come and join them fight. I know it. I know it. They're incompetent. They're gonna ask us to do that. Well, let's go. Oh, keep you. Hell no. Might as well get that. Oh, hello. Also, dusting to be done here. Magnificent. I see a little bit of dusting there, too. Nice. We got a rubber from that? Usually we just get dregs. What? That's weird. Any other. No, you're good. You're good. Oh my god, that's where I put the copper bars. Oh, I made copper instead of tin bars, didn't I? Or bronze. Why do we keep saying tin? <laughs> Alright, well, make sure you're all clean. Oh my god. You are super dirty. My god. Well, there we go. We got plant fiber from that one. That's a little weird. Well, we got three today from these. No, no. There we go. I really need to move where that cooking thing is. Sort... Sweet. We can make a water, but I'll hold off on it for now until we can make a few more because we actually got a pretty good amount at the moment. All right, yeah, let's go check in on commissions. We'll go and talk to them after we get a gun. <laughs> so what are actually my other missions right now? I've got three now at this point. So we got the grass is greener to learn how to farm. We've got the excavating the sky and Operation Degeeglate. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, we're working with Heidi and Mayan on this one, too. Wait, why Heidi? Why Heidi? Huh? I mean, okay, I guess she's... I guess she's a part of the construction junction, but I figured she was more like internal building stuff, like house decoration and expansion and whatnot. But I guess she's technically a builder, even though she doesn't show up in the Commerce Guild. Weird. So what are they going to need her for? I don't know. I don't know. Why am I in here? I don't know that either. Alright, moving on. Yeah, I like all the decorations coming out. Oh, hello. Trash that needs picking up. Still don't know what ruined glass is used for yet. We haven't had a, anything to do with it so far. Oh my god, look at all the trash. Come on, people. This is another reason this town is dying. Clean up after yourselves. Alright, there we are. And into the guild. Magnificent. Alright, yeah, let's just do some commissions for the rest of today, and then I'll do some more resource gathering off camera. 
Oh man, more of these, huh? Wooden boards is probably a good one, and the rubber shells. I mean, the steel frames I would like to do because, damn, look at all that, look at all those points we can get. But, I don't know where to get iron. So, that's just a problematic thing there at the moment. If we don't have the ability to get the resource, you can't handle it. <laughs> Hardwood sticks would get better than the wooden boards, but I think we probably have the wooden boards lying around. Yeah, let's do this one. And this one. There we go. Hand away! Alright. So, nine wooden boards we're probably going to have to make. I don't think we actually have that many on hand. And same with the rubber shells. Huh, that actually might be a little bit much. Actually, we might have the rubber shells. We've been, we've been recycling a lot of rubber, but we haven't been using much rubber in things thus far. Also, I'm really surprised there hasn't been another um, festival commission. I would have thought we'd get some more of those by now. All right, you know what? I should really check to see how much we got first. <laughs> uh, we have three boards on hand. Oh, boy. All right. <laughs> what about the shells? I know you're in here somewhere. We have eight. All right, so I need process... Oh, both of them use the processor. Dang it. All right, so I only need one more of you, but you know what? Let's just make 10, actually, because we got to use this rubber for any for things anyways. And might as well just make a little bit of a stockpile for the time being. That'd be good. Oh, just fill the darn thing. <laughs> uh, we're not going to have enough boards either, unfortunately. But, yeah, I'll just get some stockpiles going. So we won't be able to turn these either of these in until tomorrow then. Which means, I guess, for the rest of right now, might as well go do a little bit of extra... You know what? Let's do some fishing. You know, eh, I don't have, I haven't built a drying rack yet, so let's not do that. I really need to do that, though. Yeah, it's, you know what, maybe we should actually look into doing that real quick. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Because I got the drying rack ages ago, the plan, but I never actually went to do it. So it would be good. I've been collecting sand berries for the very purpose. Yeah, we'll probably be able to build you right away. Yup, and yup, <laughs> called it. All right, we got a drying rack. Okay, where the hell are we gonna put that thing? La da 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 d d d d d u. And oh god, where am I gonna put it? You know what? Right, right here. Wait, why can't I put it? There we go. Interact. Oh my god, our jerky. Ha. Oh. Oh, thank God, no fuel. I mean, it's a drying rack, so of course. Oh, paper. Oh, neat. Salted fish, dried sand cuda. We haven't caught a sand cuda yet. Oh, so we can't dry normal sand carp? That's unfortunate. You know what? Let's make the jerky. Jerky's just straight up stamina, and we got him. Sweet. Nice. Yeah, let's get that going. Oh, I was hoping to actually see some meat drying on there, but I guess no. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go do some collection of things. We got some scrap wood, so might as well go do some more of this over here. Magnificent. And yeah, just do some resource collection. I'll do a lot more resource, resource collection off cam, too. Just to make sure we've got plenty of things lying around. Debating whether or not I should make another drying rack, though, considering... Yeah, I'm gonna go pick up that poop. I've been making a small stockpile of it for the time being until, you know, waiting to see how farming goes, because I assume we'll need it. But I still don't know exactly what we'll be using it for. Is that rocket rooster seriously attacking me from all the way up there? He is. How dare he? Now oh, he ran away. Alright, we're good. And... I mean, fine. I guess I'll take the sandworm, too. There we go. Manure. Let's avoid the rocket rooster here. I just want wood. I don't care about fighting at the moment. There we go. Plus, putting these through the recycler is always a good plan anyway, so we can get more dregs. 
Alright. And I guess from this, we are just getting straight wood, aren't we? It's from the things we break up that we're getting the scrap. So, bust it up. There we go. All right, and I think that is where I'm going to leave this for the episode here today. I'll do more collection off cam and just kind of roll through this day on my own and bring you guys back tomorrow, which, hope oh my god, some of those really flew, which hopefully we should get the plan for the forge, and I'm hoping we can then straight up build the forge, because if we can do that, then we can, uh, not on each you, we can then make a gun. <laughs> So I would like to make a gun before I help out with the Giggler situation. But we'll see how that all goes. So hopefully you all have enjoyed this one today and you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, we'll have a good one.